I was just pretending that I hadn't recorded most of an episode, only to find out my microphone had given up. It had gone on strike. Now, speaking of going on strike, I feel a little bit better today, okay? I'm still under the weather. I'm still a bit ill, but it's certainly not enough to, to stop me in my tracks. And in fact, nothing is ever enough to stop me in my tracks. I will be dead and buried. I appreciate the sentiment on the last episode. I really do. Lots of people saying, just take a day off, okay? Just take a day off. And a lot of people suggesting, you know, I'm going to get burnt out or I'm going to get bored of RimWorld and yada, yada, yada. We've been saying that for five years. We've been saying that for five years goddamn years pretty much every single day and yet every single day for the last five years here i am i am here because i want to be here okay i've worked a terrible below minimum wage job waking up at 5 a.m every day wishing i would fade away from existence inside these walls everything is incredible i'm very appreciative and thankful for what i have going here because i know what it's like on the other side and it's horrible it is a horrible horrible existence out there i need you to understand the only thing that will stop me is death I will die sooner than give up on what I am doing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure when I am actually dead, there will be people in the comment section saying, I told you. I told you he's burnt out. I knew this was going to happen. For 50 years, I've been saying this, and it's, it's happened. Now, that's the slightly more genuine part of my silly rant. Is the, is the actual silly rant that I'm about to fire off. Some idiot in the, it's going to ruin my voice. Some idiot in the comment section said that this was ending up like Granny's Ranch. What in the Kentucky Fried Fuck is so wrong with that? You go back three series, four series. You pull a series out of the series back, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to name any of the characters in it. You show me Granny's Ranch, I'm going to name Granny Emmy, okay? I'm going to name Neville Dunn. I'm going to name his wife, Joshua Marjo, and their child that was tragically killed. What about Big Sawaro? I will name every single person there except for the sheriff because I don't remember his name but I do remember he was a goat, and he was cool. Oh no, this series might end up like a series with the characters with the most personality. Oh, how terrible. If you can't handle me at my granny's ranch, you don't deserve me at my generations too. Mi Mixu, that bed is far too small for such an enormous person. <laughs> Well, today, my plan is to do the absolute antithesis of Granny's Ranch. I need hydroponics. I need a nuclear power facility. I need all the things that will make this base run. And all of these things don't really fit in a lovely Christmas theme park. But they will fit perfectly in my hypermodern Space Mountain base. And there's another reason for this, right? Eventually, when our colony wealth blows up, as it did before. This was when they were at war, of course. When the colony wealth blows back up, we're going to be up against, what, 50 bandits at once, 60, 70 bandits at once. We're not going to be able to fight that, regardless of how many people we've got. It's just going to be... So someone's going to die, right? Somebody is absolutely going to die. So we're going to need turrets. We're going to need a mechanator that can fire off a bunch of militers, something for park defense. We can stack the deck in our favor by giving them shield belts, but that's it. Yeah, I'm giving us, like, long-range, fast-firing weapons. That's it. Past that point, somebody is going to die no matter what. We're just going to hit critical mass. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to shelve this, which I mean I'm going to take a screenshot and then delete it all. Then instead, we're going to put together a list of things we need for our super cool base. Number one, power. Really? No, oh, shit. I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, I've already fucked up. Okay, sorry. Let me try again. Number one, power. Once we've got enough power to get out online, I think what we need is uh, mechanoids to do deep drilling. Oh, that's going to take me a long time to... Uh, mechanoids. That's going to take me a long... Oh, fuck off. Well, I'm ill, okay? Mechanoids. It's going to be a long time to get used to that. But we're going to need uh, deep drilling. We're going to need some sort of deep drill setup. I've just done it again. I, bruh. Maybe I should go to bed. <laughs> I have a very unnecessary audio setup for what I do here. One of the cables basically died on me. You know, like how you plug your phone charger in too much in the end phrase, and then you have to hold it in a certain position to make it work. Now the sun's gone out. Why have you done this? If you're watching the Star Wars series on the second channel, you'd have heard it die, like actually during the episode. So, uh, anyway, to cut a long story short, I reloaded the game back furthest to the save that I got. Of course, I'd already done a load of stuff since then. Here's the only thing that's important. No, there's two important things. Number one. No, there's three important things. Oh, God. Number one. Psychic bloom has occurred, which is cool. Makes flowers grow absolutely everywhere. The problem is the flowers grow in our fields, and they will take over our devil strand, and they will strangle our crops. On the plus side, it's an enormous, enormous mood boost. And when I'm trying to keep people happy nonstop so they don't murder one another, this is great because their moods are super, super high right now. And what you might notice here in Bowser's mood is opinion of my lover, Blitzen. That's right, because the cat boys are psychically destined to fall in love with people, Bowser has also fallen in love with Blitzen. Uh, got some loving from whom? I'm not entirely sure. She is in love with both of the cat boys. Final and saddest thing. Hey, what happened to my bamboo? No, 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 no. Put that Christmas bamboo back. And then every time... Oh, there's no Christmas bamboo anymore. 
What happened to the Christmas bamboo? Was it taken out of the mod? Oh, that's so sad. I'm going to have a nice Christmas Garanlan tree then. I think that's lovely. Anyway, the problem is we now can't open our Christmas presents. The mod does have a setting to make it keep it always Christmas time because I think it goes off the actual real date. Now we can't open it. It just won't let us open it even with that enabled. So this is a sad occasion because now all my resources are down the drain. We're going to finish digging out my futuristic super hyper base. I've set everybody's mining priority to three. So it basically supersedes all but the most important of jobs. Oh, Conley working on this. It'll be done in five minutes. I think I'll probably just smooth the whole thing. I do play with a mod that increases smoothing speed because uh, fuck sitting here for the next four hours of my actual real life watching them smooth surfaces. Not enough gas beds. Gas can't claim beds. Krampus Hulk. Those are two words I'm not sure I want to see back to back. Enough guest beds. Why have they turned up? I, I, I had the setting enabled. Don't come until I've got beds. I assumed that would that would stop them visiting if I didn't have enough beds. Well, you know, we could turn the hospital into a bunkhouse. It's not a problem. I mean, it's not exactly a hospital right now, is it? It's just some beds in a dark room. We're not going to charge them for the beds. Not yet. Not unless I'm providing them with some sort of like luxury golden hotel. Maybe then they can pay. But until then, I'm not really concerned. Hello? You've intercepted a distress signal. A hostile shuttle carrying a Krampus master and three thralls are having trouble. We can fight the Krampus. We can't take them alive, though, right? The problem is even an anesthetic rifle does damage. It does, like, a tiny little bit of damage. I don't think there's any point in me trying this because I don't think we can get them. Oh, God. I can't... I can't bring them down here just to shoot them dead. That seems horrible. I love this psychic bloom. Look at how lovely this is. Are those cocoa bushes? Holy shit! What a, what a beautiful land this is where chocolate grows on the trees. Oh, it's Mr. Cringe. Oh, it is becoming Mr. Cringe. Nah, stop that. Stop that. Cut them down. Oh, a mech beacon. Oh, my God. Eccentric military mech beacon. I still haven't seen the Joris mech, so I'd like to get one of those. I still want a whole army of the eccentric military mechs. They are so perfect for our little Christmas theme park. Bunch of militars dressed up in funny little costumes. That's great. Audio pro oh, for robots. I understand. Let's take a telescope because we need a little recreation. Um, I love an ultra screen television, but they're quite expensive. Sell them some camels. We did get some camels for free. That's another thing that happened. Definitely can't afford that television. One day we'll get some crafting set up. Oh, look at how perfect that is. Boom. Hey, here's another thing I have to call someone out on. And that person is Dexter Feldo. Dexter Feldo, my dear, very good friend, Dexter Feldo. Okay, I'm sorry if this is a roast. High intelligence, low wisdom. That man is the walking epitome of just because you can do it does not mean you should. You know what would be a fun idea, said no one ever? How about we replace the steel on the map with fake steel that you mine up and it looks like regular steel and it's called steel, except it does nothing. It does nothing except you can sell it. Uh, you know what? Get rotated, idiot. You've just been resource dictionary. Me one, Dexter Feldo zero. Well, to be fair, it's Dexter Feldo like 16 at this point, given he blew up one of my nuclear reactors. All those times I was... Okay, I need you to walk away. Oh, you could probably you could probably fight that, right? Oh, Jesus, this is horrible. Why do we not have... Hold on! Why have I built fire foam poppers everywhere except the one place... Where are my fire foam poppers? Except the place where it's most important. Maybe we didn't build fire foam poppers everywhere. Oh, we've got them in a lot of places. Why... I put them in the freezer, but not actually in the kitchen. You know, next to the thing that might blow up. Ridiculous. Okay, you could probably fight that. Oh, God. This could be the end of stuffing. This could be the end of stuffing. Mixu. Mixu! Fucking hell. Yeah, that's it. Fight the fire with your blop, 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 pug. <laughs> blop pug is a fantastic name for a remote character. Someone write that down. In fact, you know what? I haven't renamed these characters. I haven't renamed these characters since they joined us. Okay, Sparkle, Stuffing, Bubble, Blitz, and those were all ours. Mixu? Get renamed, stupid. Perfect. Blot, Pug, the Yeti. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <coughs> oh, God. I don't think I'd take my dog to a vet called Blot, Pug. So you know you were ordered to stay 500 meters away from Pugs at all times. You're a bad man. I rescued this person mid-last episode, okay? Turns out they got a shattered spine. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to rescue them. I don't know how I'm going to send them away. We're just They're just going to have to sit in this dark... Oh, God. This is like torture, isn't it? This is like a, a completely pitch black room. Look, dark. Zero percent. They're just led there in the dark. They can't move. And occasionally someone comes and shoves a meal into their mouth. This is horrific and absolutely not Christmas. Oh, sick. So you don't have to pay them. Sometimes they'll just gift you... Have them executed. Have them executed right now. This is a joke. Ronnie David, elf counselor. 
<laughs> Ronnie David is so good. Elf Counselor of the Neo Imperial Cities wants to help us. Uh, we, we've got to fight some, some Imperial Earlets. We're going to pay us in coal. You're going to pay us in coal, are you? It's the thing. I would really love to help you because this is this is the season of giving. Well, not anymore. It's not a season of selfishness. In the bin with you. I mean, realistically, we can't fight that many people. That was too many. Even if this, it was the season of giving, the only thing we'd be giving is ourselves a funeral. It's fucking everywhere and it's slowing things down so much. Look at how slow they mine. This is a goddamn joke. Oh, sweet Jesus. Look at how many there are. This is a death sentence. This is a death sentence. You've killed my colony. You've actually killed... Unless they, unless they haven't got guns. Oh, they've got guns. Oh, they've got sniper rifles. Oh, that's fine. That's a lot of them have sniper rifles too. Oh, this is good. This bauble's broken down. Honestly, I, I get it. I get it. You're, you're, you're basically about to be uh, exterminated, so I understand. What is the plan here? What's the plan here? Asking for a friend. We just get to cover and we go full send? I don't have any other options. Where are they going to set up their turrets, though? Surely they've got to come around here. Okay, stuffing. Good shit. Blitzen. Shit good. Oh, God. What are those? They're setting up inside the base. They're setting up inside the walls. I'd like to see you try. I've got a plan. It's not a good plan, but I've got a plan. Crypto jump does that little explosion around it. Frostbite, right? If, they, if they're bunched up together close enough... Oh, shit, this actually might work. Okay, back up, Blitzen. If they're bunched up together close enough, I genuinely might be able to take out the majority of them in one go. But they are spreading out a little bit too much there. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, here goes nothing. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No, nah, no, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. He's already dead. Oh, okay. Um, I need you to come down here. Oh, God. Crypto jump. Right there. Die. Boil and die. That was a work of art. Okay. Shoot. Oh, God. He might still die. He might still die. Oh. 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 <laughs> I might be the best rumble player ever. Maybe ever. Why didn't they die? Oh, it was frostbite damage. It's frostbite damage. Oh my god, it's frostbite damage. So it, it, it bypasses it. But why did the rest die? I guess they took damage somewhere. Oh god, look. Frostbite in the torso. Though, that type of frostbite, look. Did, uh, what is that, 10, 107 million damage? I can't pass how many. That's 1 billion damage, I think. I can't pass... I can't pass all those zeros. Yeah, that's one billion damage. So why did some of them survive? And more importantly, why did you survive before? So clearly, sometimes Frostbite doesn't work. I wonder how and why. I'm not sure. We'll rescue them. Because we are the good guys. Oh, that doesn't seem good. We are the good guys, so we'll rescue them against my better judgment. Let's put down some sleeping spots inside the uh, inside the church. This was scary. This was scary. This was too scary. This was very scary. What are we going to do about that? <laughs> Should I just wait for the rain to come? I think we'll just wait for the rain. That's all right. That's not... Uh, we can rebuild the fence. I can't rebuild my people if they go up in flames. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're all good. There you go. Oh, you did come over to try and fight one of those bits of fight. There you go. I'm just barely a loss. Barely a loss. Oh, God to be praised. Blessed day. Defender Aerospace. You might be exactly what I was after to do all those things I talked about earlier. No trade beacon. What? <gasps> We don't have a trade beacon. Oh, on the plus side, though, we've got a comms console. Oh, shit. I didn't even, I didn't even clock that. Yeah, you know, I set that up yesterday thinking that we had enough steel to build it. Then it turned out we didn't have enough steel to build it because of Dexter Feldo related nonsense. We don't have enough steel for now, but if we do a little one of those. Oh, oh, would you look at that? The mother load. I'm going to have to fill all this back in with marble chunks just so it doesn't look too hideous. I'm also probably going to have to refog the map because all of this was coal. So I filled it back in with marble, but now it looks terrible. Oh, it's okay. We'll make it look good. We'll make it look good. We'll figure this out. Boom. Get traded, idiot. Okay, Kalen. Kalen, have a chat. No, no, no. What do you mean powered? Well, how are they not powered? What the fuck do you mean powered? What? Why? Oh, we out of, we're out of power. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Turn those off fast. Oh, God. Our power grid is minus 710. To be fair, we barely have a power grid. I still can't trade with them. It's okay. We've made it work. No, we haven't made it work. Oh, for Christ's sake. What's using all my power up? Probably the crematorium's not helping. And all these fireplaces are, are what? They're just fueled. Where, where's, my, where's my power going? Where's my, probably that enormous fucking TV. Turn that shit off. And after all that effort, all they had was some steel. That's all I bought from them. That's all I bought. Just, just friggin' steel. I don't even know if they can sell the mech beacons. They probably can't. Is there one on the world map somewhere? Ancient complex. What is that? Ancient biolab. 
I'll have to keep an eye out. This actually could be one, though. A complex nearby. No, it's definitely not. Now that it's all mined out, we've got a little, little refog. You'll see what I mean, okay? Bear this in mind. Okay, this is the before, and now the after. Doesn't that look way better? Oh, it refogged my buildings and didn't... Did it change anything in the cave? I think it did change some bits in the cave. That's okay. This is part of the process. This is part... This is how it goes. Oh, that's all solved. It definitely looks more, much better, much better. Uh, let's go for a bit of a smooth surface. I'm going to smooth every goddamn surface. This won't take that long. Okay, we've got faster smoothing mod. Oh, that's off the map edge, isn't it? Oh. Okay, then you download a mod that lets you extend the map border. <laughs> so like I was saying, you smooth everything. Perfect. Then hopefully with this faster smoothing mod, it's like actually reasonable speeds. Reasonable speeds. Maybe a little overpowered, but that's fine. Because I'm not sitting here for the next few hours being ill, watching Sparkles do this shit. You have extreme break risk. I've given you everything. I've given you everything. What's wrong with you? Attack person, minus 30. They were building mortars in my theme park. Cause we attacked person, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. Step five to building a base. Okay, turn on death mode, and then you open your ideology, and you click edit mode, and then you say pacifist. Uh, actually, you should probably enable persistent preset. And then you say pacifist. Nope, not today, we're not. Fuck off. And then they feel a lot better. Why is your... Why are you still breaking down, though? No jolly... I ate without a table. Missed jolly carving. Slept in the heat. Recreation deprived. Okay. Like, go do a recreation then. I don't give a shit. It's it's 5 p.m. That's recreation time for everybody, unless you're me. I thought about it afterwards. I realized we can still kind of have that, where we have um, violence being disapproved. But obviously, obviously, we're not just going to not defend ourselves. And when any social fight leads to death... That seems like a terrible idea. Apathy is death, after all. What the fuck are you doing sleeping in his house? Get out. I need to make sure all of these aren't bloody gather points. Otherwise, all the randomers just run into people's houses. There is a mod that came out recently that apparently solves that, where you can designate houses to be, like, people's private abodes. So that way you want to have fucking guests sleeping on your computer desk. Guests can't claim beds times five. We got five more. We got five more guests. Are you joking? Oh, my God. Well, there's no wonder. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Honestly, when I when I toggled on, uh, you know, allow guests only when I've got beds, or I think it's more specifically refuse guests until I've got beds. I didn't think they keep sending guests even if we don't have like as long as we've got a bed. It's okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. This is a this is a challenge for me to deal with. Okay, I'm about to upset some people. You sleep in the cupboard in the hospital now. It's the best I can do. In fact, we're gonna need more than that, aren't we? One, two, three. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. It's all good. I I have actually cracked this game wide open. We're running at like 1500 TPS with, with like 20 people on the map. I don't know how I've done this. Even when they're pathing around, it's still solid. I've, I've ascended. 2024 is the year of ascension. I just see matrix code now. And now they're leaving, so I can't even show it. Amazing. That's good. Thank you. Seven medicine. I appreciate that. That's very kind. Thank you. They're also helping out, which is amazing. Hauling all the marble chunks out. They're going around smoothing some walls occasionally, working in the quarry. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Can I, can I turn off can work? Make friends. I want to do that, but I, like, you don't have to work, though. Oh, but Mr. Stromboli, why do you do this? <laughs> I don't want to be Mr. Stromboli. Why have you done this two blocks thick? Well, that's for our cryogenic thermal regenerators, which are going to generate all the power. Because I, I, when I said nuclear, I meant this. Because presumably it's some sort of cold fusion. Very cold fusion. Brr. We can make it two blocks thick, and that helps with the thermodynamic trans heat transfer culture. <clears throat> oh, I have to do something very scary and see which of these pillars I can remove without caving the whole thing in on our heads. Do we still have that Christmas rifle? You know what? Give me some Christmas grenades. They'll do it because we need to keep a bit of distance. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Rikus. Okay, be careful. Oh, God, be careful. But thank you, Christmas grenades. This is all part of the process, okay? This is me very carefully testing whether or not this, this place is structurally sound. Okay. That's good. I've got some good news. That bit is. Uh, I'm going to get you to stand like, like there, and then we're going to chuck some there too. No, not the frost breath, you idiot. Oh, pleasantly surprised. Okay. And then my plan is to take some of this stuff here, and we just run it right down. Kapow. Not equidistant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Six on that side. Five on that side. Oh, my God. I am prophetic. How have I managed this? Four. Five. Oh, I'm a fool. I just put the pillars. It's okay. I put the pillars in the wrong place. It's not. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. That's a, that's acceptable losses. Oh God, stuffing. What happened? Oh, stuffing. What happened? Either you were strapped in a room with those cat boys, or yep. 
I think we had a slight cooking incident. Oh, this is the bit that terrifies me. This is the bit that terrifies me. Throw Christmas grenades. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let me throw that one there. Okay. Now, I think if I take that out, the ceiling's going to collapse because there is not eight blocks distance or more, it's more than eight blocks distance between like, uh, between like here and there and there. So I think that's the best we get. And then we throw down some windies. Give me some windies. I need just like regular, regular open windows though. And this is where we build our turrets for a little bit of defense. What I might do as well, just to add another layer of, of, of safetyness, just in case our people have to flee down here, is we'll do a sweeping wall like down this bit as a bit of protection, because it's going to have the windows on the other side, right? So we don't want them to be able to shoot through and use the windows against us. Made the executive decision to turn off firefighting for, I think, fairly obvious reasons. <laughs> Just a death sentence, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Look at them. I think I've ever seen wildfire like this. I like the rain is on. It's like it's not cutting it back. To be fair, it's probably something to do with the density of all these freaking Christmas trees. Christmas trees are a fire hazard anyway. Do we need chem fuel now to build the first level of the generators? So I guess I'll put everybody in the quarry. I got some terrible news blitzing. Give me that chem fuel. We got a shitload of new tramine from the... What's it? What is it classed as? There we are. 360 new tramine from the Christmas presents. So we've actually already got everything we need, I think, to build this. Oh, except for the advanced components. Oh, well, let's throw down a fabrication bench. I think we can just about pull that off. You know what, Sparkles? You're doing such a good job. I'm going to give you a light because I'm feeling so generous. <gasps> Elves. A gift from the elves. It's more medicine. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very nice. I, if you want to pay in medicine, I'm good with that. I'm completely fine. So I had to do a lot of deforestation and build some uh, industrial chem fuel power generators just to keep the power grid going a little bit. It's not on theme. I hate it. We're not keeping it forever. We're just going to make a few more advanced components, then we're set. Stuffing. What have you done? I really should. I'm going to take that campfire out. I know it's not the campfire doing it, but it just makes me nervous having a campfire on a wooden floor in a wooden building. Oh, more perfect power supply for an elf than a big old freezer. Okay, you should probably get out of there because as I recall, those things drop to absolute zero. I don't even mean that in like an exaggerated sense. They get really, really, really cold. Now we can get rid of these monstrous chem fuel generators. Not very elven at all. I've got a question. You know what it's going to be? Whose shoes are in the quarry? <laughs> <laughs> Legendary <laughs> leather shoes. I don't think they dug those up. I mean, now that we've got power done, what the hell am I going to do next? Because mechanoids are going to have to go down the list. So let's put those. Basically, as soon as we can get them, we should focus on them. Until then, what, hydroponics though? Between the weather and flowers popping up everywhere. What the hell is that? Oh, it's another. It's a dead cat boy. Oh, are you okay? It was a dead cat lady. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where did you come from? Why did you die? Maybe it was a transport pod crash no because we would have been notified why is there why is there a dead cat in my hayfield oh my god this prison is called elfo <laughs> we're gonna convert then release they can go back and take our ideology with them and hopefully we can tear down santa's the the last loyalist obviously we've defeated evil santa at this point but these are the these are the last holdouts that need to be dealt with we're not going to defeat them through through conquest and warfare we're gonna defeat them with love with love and 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 kindness. Until we defeat them with love and kindness, though, I'm gonna defeat them with sentry guns. <laughs> we want whatever is the fastest firing, I suppose, in in that part. And then anything that can see down the edge, we need like range to it, right? To be fair, a slug turret would probably do it, but we want something a little faster than that. Anything that can see right down there? Regular military turret? A regular military turret isn't bad. Not oh, as optimistic about this one, but do me a favor here, Bauble. Okay, that's not going to work. Look at how accidentally perfect that almost was. I'm so annoyed. Two more blocks over and it would have been dead center. That's okay. If we put it there, we're covering just the turrets. Maybe I want to cover the... No, I think I do want to cover the turrets. Because if the embrasures get shot out, I don't give a shit about that. Let's put it there. That seems good. Oh my god. Oh my god, you may have just saved me. Hello there. Oh, we have to fight mechanoids though when we call it down, right? Okay, this is going to be horribly dangerous then, isn't it? We're all about to die. Even though, like, a regular militia is arguably as dangerous, if not more dangerous than a centipede, it's faster firing. So this could be... Oh, this could be a real problem. This could be a real a real deadly problem. I'm going to send, uh... I think Stuffles, Stuffles and Sparkling. Yep. Who am I going to make the Mechanita? Hopefully somebody, uh... Appropriate. Blot Plug could be quite funny. Maybe just Sparkles. And he, he was a general in his past life. Okay, he's retired now, but he was a general. He knows how to command things. And I think that could be perfect. Please don't make any threats. Okay, there's a fireball. That's okay. Mechanics of casket found. Okay, that's it. That's all we needed. And then we get the chip. Oh my god. That scared the hell out of me. 
Uh, wait, I, I thought we got the we got the thing and then we used that to call down the ship and then we do it, right? Am I wrong? Store Mechlink. Oh my god, no, you just get the, 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 the Mechlink from this. Sparkles. Ascend. Oh, and maybe get out of that building too. We're gonna have to hang around. Yeah, I was gonna say, we'll have to hang around for a few, few seconds and get our constructoid. Hello, um, you might wanna leave that room. It's quickly approaching 400 degrees C. For those of you in America, that's about, I think that's about 70 F or something like that. Like a little, little temperate. You know, it's like a little, little bit warm. You might not want a jumper in that. <laughs> what are you wearing? What is that? Don't you blue steal me? What the hell are you wearing? What the hell is that you've got on? A shirt tie and a hard hat? <laughs> <laughs> Except a very, very basic crafting room here. Oh, we have to eccentric, eccentricize. That's not a word. Summon me a friend. Show me. One of, I think it was 10 random, eight random militers will turn up. And I hope it's the Joris. I still haven't seen the Joris. I've only ever seen one of them. <gasps> Hello. What are you? Joris. Show me Joris. What the hell is that? That's not Joris, that's a rabbit. Easter Bunny Militer. No, that's the wrong season. I mean, it's not really Christmas anymore, is it? You've got a carrot shotgun. There's a button that says Easter Egg Grenade. Uh, stuffing. Stuffing! Bruh, I don't think there's a fire phone popper big enough. Okay. Well, that's where all our steel is going. This guy claims to be some sort of expert chef. At least clean up. What's wrong with you? Oh, it can do plants work. Hey, that's good. I mean, it is the Easter Bunny. I'm not sure what I meant by that now that I've thought about it. I don't think the Easter Bunny has a reputation for working on plants. Upsy daisy vampire helium plant. That's a coagulator, isn't it? <laughs> that's a coagulator, isn't it? Sorry, what the fuck kind of a gene is fertility while outdoors? Who did that? Ah, oh, yes, my favorite remod mod, the dogging mod. Thank you. Now all I need are a couple of tunnelers. What was 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 a tunneler? Tunneler, tunneler, tunneler. There we are. Tunnelers are capable of drilling, mining, drilling, and quarrying, which is basically just mining. We've got 150 steel, which we've got. 75 plastic, four components. All we need is one standard subcore. Then we set them in the quarry all day, and then our elves never have to worry about hard labor. They can focus on. How do I make subcores like that again? Subcore sc scanner, not the rip scanner though. That's for the that's for the high ones. Uh, soft scanner. That's it. Did we put a baby in that. Can we put the baby in? It's just got a scanner brain. Put the baby in. Carry the carry the baby? I don't think we're allowed to put a baby in the, <laughs> in the soft scanner. Um, who's not very useful right now? Bowser is just hauling. Congratulations, you're in. That wasn't a rip scanner, right? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And then, kapow. Baby cantaloupe, you've grown. You've grown into a full-blown child. I will let you stay. I will let you stay in the colony. You're, you're, very, you're very welcome. I'm a very generous person, you see. I'm going to call you Catalope instead of Heathcliff. That's very confusing if you all have the same name. Oh, she's going to get piano lessons from Bowser? Oh, that's lovely. Learning a social lesson. Oh. Is this Spider-Man pointing to himself meme? Do we, do we need two notifications for the same thing? Hello. Show me. Where is he? Oh, beautiful. Mining in a quarry. Oh, my God. It works. I was so worried that it might not just work out of the box. Look at him go. Look at you tunnel. You're slower than a reindeer wearing a doctor's outfit. Well, I mean, she is a doctor. If we can just get like two or three of those, then my people never have to work in a quarry again. I've given them the, the adequate safety equipment, okay? Just ignore the fact that Bauble is stopping to have a drink before he goes back into the quarry. That's not relevant. This is a snowball effect, if you'll pardon the pun, that will blow everything wide open. Because now, thanks to that, we've effectively got a, a, a constant... Unlimited steady flow of resources. I'm playing with the quarry set to infinite, but I always drop the um, success chance to make up for it, right? Because it's plenty of us having to move this around. Even if we had to move the quarry around, or we could just swap to deep drills or whatever, right? It's, it, it's not really relevant. The point is, this allows us to go butt wild. I can build whatever the hell I want now. All it needs is a little more investment in a few more tunnelers. This is an accurate picture of me trying to sleep every day, being a wash by knowing that people are arguing on Discord about some silly decision I made in a game about people who don't even have hands. If you're going to argue about anything in life, make sure it has hands. Otherwise, what's the point, huh? Watchmakers are famously very cantankerous. You can put that on my grave. That's the most philosophical thing I've ever said. That is what we could do. I could sit here for another 30, 40 minutes of my, my time, and I could build some more tunnelers, and then I could do a very quick cut, 10 to 15 seconds of content, and say, there they are, we're ready to go. I'm not going to do that. Fuck that. 2024 is the year of me respecting my own goddamn time, and that's not it. That's not it. I don't need to sit here for 40 to 50 minutes to prove to you all that I built some 
built some things. That's not that's not relevant. That's not necessary to anybody. And hey, on the subject of that, uh, it brings me on to my next topic. Over on the Patreon, I'm going to be putting up a big post. There are going to be some big, big changes over there. Uh, very positive changes for the Patreon anyway. Um, so I'll be talking about that at the time when I do that. A change that I'm going to try and implement for 2024 that I think will be very beneficial for a multitude of reasons that you'll see uh, uh, during that video. But we are up to our last names of the December Patreon list. Not bad timing to say I did miss a couple of days. Thank you to Jackson, Mill, Drumatsiksa, Jim Stevenson, Silva, Gigi, Nuance Fart, Jinxie Cat, Copilot, Harpio, James A0733, Space Urban Cohort, Lycan Lover, Virgo of Doom, Evan Crocker, St Killer Starling 6, Robert Del Rosario, <coughs> no! <coughs> Kemp McCullough. God, I was holding that back. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for allowing the series to exist in the first place. A thank you as well to Plasma Wolf. Big Sawaro. Wow. Second time. That was a crazy coincidence. James Beaton. Timbo Slice. Wolfie. Alex Wareham. Whimsy Calico. Skunkalope. Lord of Sofa. Technoman08. Safati. Amazing Moosh. L. Chalupa Cabra. Max Soplo. And Lieutenant Smoking as well. Come back very, very soon. Probably tomorrow. The CK2, uh, th what, what uh, game? CK3, probably coming out at 8 p.m. today, depending on how long it takes me to edit this. Goodbye.